Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about how to use Google Classrooms Analytics feature. Google Classrooms Analytics is set up so that any teacher could access any student's Google Classroom page and information that's in there. This could be really helpful if you're helping a student to see what work they're missing, if they've been out a, a few days and need help catching up, if um, there's problems with their grade and you want to see what what's going on at each of the, their Google Classrooms. Any teacher could go in and view only, you could see any student in Lauren School's information in Google Classroom. So the way you go there is you would go to Google Classroom and you will see this gray analytics box somewhere on the top of the page where you normally you would see all the, the classrooms that you are part of. Uh, you would just click on uh, the analytics tab here. It'll open in a new tab. And it will show you overall, this is what how our students are doing in Google Classroom uh, for the last 30 days. And you can see you could go, go back to August and it will collect all that data um, since the beginning of the school year um, and how we're doing. And it will also list specific like uh, Google Classrooms that are being used the most or have the highest ratings. And you could either, even go by student and other information here. Um, you could also search by student or teacher. So if I wanted to look at Ms. Garza's grade book, I could just look for her and it would list my grade books then. Um, it takes a moment, there you go. That I either am a teacher, a co-teacher, or I'm a student in these pages. For any of these, I could go in and uh, view the analytics for that specific uh, Google Classroom, and it will list all the students, whether they've completed assignments and whether they have currently any missing uh, assignments for me. If teachers are using the gradebook feature in Google Classroom, which I am, I'm testing it, um, then it will show like kind of the current grades in that uh, area as well. Um, and again, you could look at the last seven days or back to the beginning of the school year or any section in between. So this is a good way to see quickly uh, who's you, m missing stuff in a class. Another thing you could do is uh, instead of searching for a teacher, you could look for a student. Let's see. So you could put a student's email address in here and you could see all the Google Classrooms they're a part of. And you can look up the analytics for each specific class to see how they're doing. But a nice feature is they have the student analytics piece. So if you click that, it will show kind of a snapshot of that student showing all their grade books, who the teacher is, their assignment completion percentage for that class, as well as any missing assignments. And then um, and again, if a teacher is using the gradebook feature, it'll show the grade for that class as well. Again, this is a really easy way to go in and see missing work for students, because as you know, many students just forget to turn stuff in, <laughs> and uh, this will help them remind them to get into that practice so they don't have any missing work. Um, and then you could go back to the Google uh, the. Google Classroom Analytics page to look up other students or other teachers that way. And that's it. I mean, it's a quick, easy tool to allow you to find information quickly and to see how students are doing. Really helpful for people, le learning specialists, for people helping students um, get caught up after they've been absent for a few days or on vacation, um, or just t getting a snapshot of where students in Google Classroom. If you have any questions about using Google Classroom Analytics, please let me know.